Who's this crack? You didn't follow you back here? I ain't seen nobody. Get rid of this fool. Tell Batman that I got rid of the competition. Righteous. They kinda belong to I again. And nobody gonna fuck with I's kinda no more, no things. One love, Nico. Alright, my man, Nico. How's it going? Okay. You and Batman got any more work you need help with? It's a funny thing you should mention that to me, brother. Batman is right impressed with what you're doing for I and I. He wants to know if you want to deliver some package around town to some various people and thing in all the city. Plenty of car and that for you, you know. That sounds good. Wicked man, give her a call when you're ready for this first run. There'll be a lot of work, so call whenever, you know? One love, Bridget. I told Where's you she? where she is! I, I don't you, see why I want it's such you to a keep problem. an eye on it! Hey, I'm out making money here. all day. How many like times do I have to tell you? Keep an eye on I'm the fucking the girl. Gospel. Gospel. Is your daughter. You stop. You're a terrible man. 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 You're a good name. you are a terrible man you are a terrible man you are a terrible man you are uh, he said he had something to do. Something. Something. Let me tell you something. Me and this guy, we were in the army together. We were in prison together. We are like brothers. Now it's always something. Always something. Always something. Yes. You want a drink? No, thank you. Well, I do. <laughs> you all right? What? Mr. Fauston? No! I'm fucking angry. I'm sorry to hear that. Let me ask you something. You know her? No. Good. Because if you did, I'd fucking kill you. Why? She's my daughter. Ungrateful bitch. I bring her here. I spoil her rotten. Raise her well. Look at this. Look. Look what I've given her! Yeah, yeah. She's uh, very lucky to have such a loving father. She is. She's an out of control bitch. Because of you, you pathetic mess. But I don't accept my daughter turning into a whore. Nico, she's at Firefly Island. Go there. If she's meeting up with that bike pimp boyfriend, get him. Find Dimitri for me. Okay. Have him call me. Sure. Go. All right. I need the car, Beach. don't worry. Beach. Insurance will pay. To Hades with you, Malaka! Sex magic where you strengthen the person of the world. Fantastic! The answer's really important. Insurance trust. The number is 212-360-2367. Hello, line 4. You have five minutes. The meter is running. Yeah. Beatrix Fontaine? Tell me why I should have to pay for a fight. It's insulting. If you've got a gift, you should share it. Why? 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 Why?
So take it me to Let's do it. Thanks a lot. You're wiping the bar with a rag. I had a very short. Am I property of the lost now? Ha, <laughs> if you were property, then all the brothers would get to share you. I want you all <laughs> to myself. Get away from Mr. Faustin's daughter. Fuck you! This ain't Russia, and we ain't communists. Tell my father I can see whoever I like. I'm gonna get the brothers, and we're gonna kick your fucking ass! Sorry, man. I can't do that just now. Yeah, man. No problem. I'm just coming when you're free. Sorry. Not really your day. Next up, he's an actor as well, but has gotten into Hello. Hello. Uh, is Mikhail home? No, he's out. Okay. Uh, should I wait outside? No, no, come in. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Sit down. Thank you. You want some tea? Sure. Mikhail doesn't let me use this anymore. Says it makes us look like barbarians. Uncivilized. Like immigrants. Oh, yeah? I know what you're thinking. It is a bit funny coming from him. <laughs> he did not used to be like this. When we were young, at home, he was beautiful. He was happy. He made me happy. But um, then something changed years ago. I never quite knew what it was. So many years I wondered what it was or what was wrong with me. That I did not see it in him. Or I changed him. Life is complicated. I... I never thought I'd live like this. No? When the war came, I did bad things. And after the war, I thought nothing of doing bad things. I killed people, smuggled people, sold people. And you don't worry about your soul? <sighs> after you walk into a village, and you see 50 children, all sitting neatly in a row against the church wall, each with their throats cut and their hands chopped off, you realize that the creature that could do this doesn't have a soul. God is very complicated. 
You mustn't give up hope. Huh. Well, I don't know about that. Привет, Лена. Привет, Эмма. What is that? Uh... I tell you one thing and you ignore me! Oh! You stupid oh! bitch! Oh! <laughs> Nico Bellic, baby. Good to see you. Hey, you too. <sighs> what did you want? Oh. I want you to teach people to listen to you me. You want him to get us the money! Fuck the money. Mikhail, please calm down. We're already in a lot of trouble. I don't know if I can smooth things over with Petrovic. Fuck him and fuck you. Who are you, my daddy? Get the fuck out of my house. Mikhail! Get out! So, what do you want? This prig who owes me money owns a garage in Chase Point. I want you to pick up a truck and take it to him. Call me when you get to the truck. It's in Shotlar on Montauk Avenue. Go. Get out of here. Mr. Faustin, I have the truck. Drive it over to the garage on the corner of Guantanamo and Windmill. Park up inside. Sure. What am I delivering? When it's inside, trigger the explosive. It should blow up good. Maybe you'll be careful and drive over. It's pretty volatile stuff. Explosive? What the fuck? Calculating route. Yes, it was very disappointing. My parents were weak and right. feeble people. I don't them. I put myself up for adoption after they got divorced. I plan to divorce Dad in my new movie. It's got a lot of talking cars. Yards. Yards. Turn right. left. I've got great abs in it. It's a real character piece. Okay, uh, Zach, uh, you've been educated in a public school. Well, sort of. I learned to despise the common herd in a public school. So then I learned about the world by being homeschooled by a friendly teacher. It's important to give everyone access to homeschooling. Uh, yeah. I don't know about that. One mile. Turn I left. left. I was really popular at school. It was great training for life, because I'm more popular now. Okay, now, Zach, tell us about the plan to end hunger. Well, it's quite simple, really. Almost facile. I looked at hunger as a supply and demand problem. Too many hungry people. Simple. Rather than reducing the number of hungry people, simply reduce the number of people using involuntary euthanasia for the weak and unfortunate and turn them into compost for our crops. It's simple. You want to kill people to reduce hunger? Absolutely. It's brilliant. It's barbaric. I blame video games. They're teaching our kids to solve hunger by slaughtering the weak. We should only slaughter the weak to win wars and sell guns to unjust governments we keep in power. I despise the government. The government's like the paparazzi, you know? They follow you around and then when you mess up, they are on you, man. They are on you with a zoom lens. But my blog talks all about it. You can go to a brand new... Okay, okay. Where's the consensus here? I think we've all reached a consensus, Mike. I the group seems to be agreeing that no wonder my plan. You'd be one of the first people we eliminated. <laughs> Shut up, you tiny little freak! A nasty little right-wing bully! I bet you've never even gotten laid. Oh, I have. I have. Lots of times. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly by girls. Uh, sometimes with uh, underage chicks. Are you sick, sick, young man? You're sick. Stop looking at me strangely. I'm tempted to beat a lesson into you, young man. I imagine you guys are kind of my 
I'm going to give you a spanking of your life, you little dork. You're going to learn some respect. No, please. How dare you? No, no. Stop wiggling around so much. You're a pedo. Roman, we should go and get drunk together. Roman, I'm nervous enough about driving a truck full of explosives around the city for Mikhail Faust. He's out of control. Anyway, I'm sorry, but if I get drunk with you and then drive this thing, I'll definitely blow myself up. I'll catch you later, cousin. And now, the show that allows everyone to vent their spleen. It's Pacemaker, the program that puts the heart back into the health industry. Here's your host, Ryan McFallon. It's David and Goliath, but we're all David when it comes to fighting the healthcare industry. And this time, it's not a rock. It's our nuts in a sling. For thousands of years, people have treated us. Please make a U-turn. We're safe. Please proceed to highlighted route. Father to son, and sometimes while inebriated, if 100 yards, turn left. HMOs, co-pays, a thousand forms to fill out, gastric bypasses, doctors that charge $30,000 to pry open your love cave with a speculum. Today on the show, right. Pharmaceuticals Public Relations Director, Sheila Stafford. Hi, Ryan. Great to be here. I brought you samples of some breakthrough new drugs. You have arrived. You look like you really need them. Okay, thanks. Uh, and representing the largest HMO in the nation, Copay Health System CEO, Wilson Davis. It's a pleasure to be here to talk about taking the healthcare industry from a patient-centric and business-centric calculating route forward to the health model we're looking at in the 22nd century. All right. And I've blown the place up, but don't pull that shit on me again. Maybe I don't want to drive around while sitting on an atom bomb. I thought you were the ice cold killer. I thought nothing scares you, man. Pussy. Hasn't anyone got any balls? You and Dimitri, you'd be nothing without me. Nothing. This is how you treat me? So can you take... Thank you very much. Nico, it's Roman. I was talking to Brucey. That roid monkey? He is a good friend of mine. He'll be a good friend of yours too if you let him. Anyway, he's got some work and we are in need of money. Meet him at Brucey's Executive Autos on Mohanad in East Hook. If Mallory calls you, we are bowling together. See you later. Get it, please. That's enough, I'm a good person. You hey. Uh, hello? I'm busy. I said hello. Ow! Motherfucker! Is your boss around? What'd you do that for? Is your boss around? Yeah, he's around. Brucey, some fucking Polak asshole for you. Pleasure to meet you, too. He's not a Polak. He's a gentleman. Still a fucking asshole. Sorry, Nicky, man. How's things? Okay. Sweet. <laughs> I got you, man. I'm big, but I'm also fast. Wake up, boy! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, can you show me that again? <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh! Enough, man! Enough! Oh! Woo. 
Fuck me. Be all right, huh? Whew, that's some Red Army shit. Serious. You gotta show me that one. I'm all about power. Come on, touch my backs, man. No, thank you. Rock hard. I bench 450. I'm like, uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whew, shit, no shit. What are you doing here, man? Well, Roman said maybe you needed some help and we need some money real bad. Shit, my bad? Yeah, of course. Love that guy. Love him. I mean, I am no chubby chaser, but if I was and a queer guy, I'd be in trouble, you know I'll what I mean? I'll let them know. <laughs> hey, I'm shitting with you. Brucey likes pussy. Remember that, right? Okay. All right, now, Nikki, listen up. I know you guys need money bad. Yeah. This ain't a nice job. Not exactly mom and pop shit. No problem, as long as the pay is good. Sometimes people fuck other people over, okay? And the people that fuck other people need to get fucked with, especially people that go into hiding before they can get on the stand and put a lot of guys inside for a lot of time. What? I need you to whack some people, only they're in hiding. How do I find them? Man, you're cold! You didn't even blink! Love that, I fucking love that! You gotta steal a police car, get on the computer, give me a call, the reason to hack. Not really. All right, Brucey. I'll give you a call. Ice cold, man! Ice cold! Woo. ...your stomach that something is about to go wrong, and then it starts. I know what you're wondering. How does she know all these things about me? Well, the fact is... A gift I learned to roaming the streets of Eastern Europe, having lots of kids and earning money by dancing and playing the violin. You see, I can divine the magical powers of the stars and numbers. My God, you the you read the meaning of the cards to tell the future. But that is not the I'm here. I have a computer. You're a badass, man. I love it. Now, this cat's name's Lyle Revis. Type it into the computer, and you should get some known whereabouts and shit. I take them out myself, but when people see me coming, they fucking run, man. Know what I'm saying? Cats don't want to mess with someone packing 24 inch guns like mine, baby. Yeah! I'll track down this Revis. Oh, man. I'm feeling chills down the phone. Call me when it's done, bro.
Lyle Rivas, I got a message from Brucey for you. Brucey? I thought he was fucking joking. Shit! Not worry about Rivas anymore. Lethal, man. A lot of people are gonna be very grateful that certain people who fuck with them can't say things to other people or fuck with anyone anymore. If you get me. I get the money you're paying. You're all about the cabbage. I mean, the lettuce, the lettuce. Ice cold, man. I love it. There'll be some more work when you need it. <laughs> Your titties. What do you want for? We're going to That's great. Two? Someone here to see you. I'm working out! Six. Hey, Brucey. Nico! One second. Sorry. Why didn't you tell me it was Nico? Why? Man, women. Man, women. Yeah! 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 Man, I'm ready for you. I'm ready. I'm ready for fucking anything. Are you all right? You seem a little tense. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm just juicing. Makes me a little pent up. Juicing? Yeah. Bull shark testosterone, amigo. Ordered online from Chile. Makes you feel really male. Hey, be careful, man. I heard that stuff does funny things to your balls. Hey. Do I look like I got funny balls to you? <laughs> I haven't considered it. Uh, you sent me a message. What do you want? I want help! I'm losing the plot here! Pause. <laughs> I'm shitting you, man. Now look, I did really good with that thing. A lot of people are very grateful. Now listen.